Hello, thank you for joining me as we reflect on some teaching from this last weekend. We continue to make our way through Revelation 2 and 3, talking about the seven churches uh, to whom Christ spoke in the first century. This week we started chapter 3, which is the church in Sardis. Sardis had a reputation for being alive, and yet they were dead. And what they discovered is that God had some expectations of them, and those expectations that he had for that church are expectations that he still has of us in the 21st century. Specifically, stay awake, stay active, stay alert. Those are really keys to staying alive in Christ. And I wonder if you are banking on your reputation, your reputation from the past, your reputation because of your last name, your, rep your reputation because of the fact that you belong to a specific church. I wonder if you're banking on a reputation like that to get you into the good graces of God. It's not gonna work. That was the message that Christ had to Sardis. Your reputation cannot save you. And friends, I just want to focus in on one of those points that we talked about, and that is stay active. In our culture, it is really easy to stay busy, to stay active. We are, we're going to board meetings, we're going to committee meetings, uh, we're going to work, we're working longer hours in the summertime, uh, we're going to the lake, we're going to the cabin, we're going on vacation, uh, we are going to the sporting events, we are going, going, going. We are so active. But are those things the right things? I'm definitely not saying that they are not the right things, my question is this, are we staying active in moving God's kingdom forward? You see, God's kingdom can be moved forward in any environment, in any activity. But many times we forget about God and we ask God to bless us in what we're doing instead of finding what he's doing and being a part of that. And that's really what I wanna challenge you with today. Are you staying active in moving the kingdom of God forward? If you're not, there are some simple things you can do. Just get involved with your local church, uh, whichever church that may be, just get involved. Serve other people, find something in your neighborhood that you can be a part of. Maybe there's something in your community uh, that uh, you can, uh, that is a platform for you uh, to serve God from. Get involved with it and stay active. The time of Christ's return is very, very short. He is coming soon and that's exciting. But what Christ is not looking for is a church that is dead. And he wants us to be alive in him. And one of the keys to us staying alive is to stay active, not in what we want to do, but to stay active with God, moving his kingdom forward, pointing people to Jesus getting life from God so that you can give life to others. And I trust that you will remember today your reputation can't save you, but Jesus Christ can make you live in a way that you never have.